welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited about today's video. If this is the first time we're meeting, I usually have an annual giveaway on my Instagram. I call it Mary Moore. It's about 15 to 16 days of daily prizes. If you want to join day one and day two, it's now live on Instagram. You just have to check out my handle at Emore Beauty. It's very exciting. Today's giveaway is actually being hosted on YouTube. I have to say thank you to you guys for joining me this year. Today we're going to discuss how to build a very simple skincare routine using only the ordinary products. And the best part of this is that two lucky winners from my YouTube community is going to win all of these products. To simplify the concept of this video as well as to give back to the community, I chose to build a skincare routine using only the ordinary products. This is just a disclaimer. Your routine does not have to be one brand. The routine that I'm going to build with you is not exclusive to a certain skin type, so it's not just for dry skin or oily skin. I tried to keep all skin types in mind when I was picking all these products. First, you need a cleanser. In my opinion, your cleanser does not have to be fancy, but it has to be good at breaking down makeup, SPF, and grime. Double cleansing sounds dramatic, but I always highly recommend it, especially in the evening. The goal of cleanser one is to break down that makeup, SPF, and grime. And the goal of cleanser two is to make sure cleanser one hasn't left anything behind. Typically, your first cleanser is usually oil-based or balm-like. I picked one wholesome cleanser, and that's the Ordinary Squalane Cleanser. It works great on its own as a AM cleanser, but it also works great as a second cleanser in the PM. So you can choose how you want to use this. The only true benefits of using squalane cleanser is surface occlusion, especially in winter. You want to reduce that water loss. Basically, squalane is a great surface hydrator. This is a cleanser, so you do wash it off, but if your skin is dehydrated or dry, it's a great way to expose it to just a little bit of hydration. It's great at what it does. It's great at breaking down makeup. It's not full glam. I wouldn't say waterproof makeup. Um, this is why I keep it as a second cleanse because I usually need a thicker, not a thicker, but a more oily consistency to break down. Um, this is great at cleansing the skin, getting off any residue left behind by the first cleanser. It's also nice in the morning just to soften the skin. It's a relatively basic formula. It does what it needs to do and it's actually very friendly to all skin types, which is why I picked this one. If you want to dive a bit deeper into the squalane cleanser and all the science behind it, I highly encourage you to check out my review on YouTube. In general, the next step that most people discuss is toning. In my opinion, having a toner is more of a luxurious step and it's not necessary for a proper skin routine. It's something that you can include if you really want to, but your skin will survive without it. Because of that, and to make sure that this is a simple skincare routine, I'm going to skip the toning step. But if you're building a routine yourself, toning usually comes after cleansing. Now on to my favorite step, which is usually your serum. Some people label serums as a sham, but I actually really like serums and I like incorporating them into my routine. A serum is a skincare product with a lighter consistency than a moisturizer, usually gel-like, sometimes water-based, that holds a high concentration of a specific ingredient or a specific combination of ingredients. Personally, I always split my serums into two categories and that's hydration and treatment base. I like to have one or the other in my routine, but never or usually very rarely do I layer both of them, meaning I don't usually layer a hydrating serum with a treatment-based serum like an acid. When it comes to your serum, this is where I highly encourage you to do a skincare assessment or, or sorry, a skin assessment. Look at your skin, see what it needs. Does it look textured? Does it look bumpy? Does it look dehydrated? This is the part where you decide what type of serum do I need? Well, I actually picked one from each category. So a hydrating one and one that's treatment based. Also another tip, I usually like to use my hydrating serum in the AM and my treatment based serum in the PM. So you could use it that way as well. For hydrating purposes, I chose the Ordinary's uh, Hyaluronic 2% and B5 serum. Size does matter when it comes to hyaluronic acid and the Ordinary infused this formula with all three type, which is low, medium, and high molecular weight hyaluronic acid. Basically, the lower the molecular weight of your hyaluronic acid, the deeper it penetrates. But most of the time, 
and most of the formulas contain medium to high molecular weight, which means they only really do surface hydration. So hyaluronic is great for hydration because it sits there on the surface and it binds itself to water and it binds itself to other HA molecules to create a barrier. The problem with being a large molecule that sits on the surface is that it's very temporary, but it gives you a nice boost of hydration uh, for the day. The other nice thing about this formula is that it has vitamin B5, which is another great surface hydrator, but some literature are showing its benefits for healing wounds. So if you deal with acne or, or you have like an active breakout that you've picked at, incorporating vitamin B5 might be beneficial for healing. For my treatment-based serum, which I also call my evening serums, the winner will have a choice between two options. I picked the Ordinary's Lactic Acid 10% Serum as well as the Granactive 2% Emulsion. I'm giving you the option to pick which one you would prefer. Of course, the main ingredient in this um, Lactic Acid Serum is Lactic Acid. This is 10%, which is a bit higher than 5%, so I do recommend you do this very gently and use it maybe once a week at first and to actually test patch, especially if you're sensitive. Lactic acid is one of the most common alpha hydroxy acids or AHA for short, and it's great at increasing cell turnover. So you're getting fresher, brighter, healthier cells um, brought to the surface a lot quicker. When your skin is efficiently turning over its old cells, then of course you're gonna reduce texture, dullness, and hyperpigmentation long-term wise. The other nice thing about lactic acid is that it has humectant properties, so it retains moisture. It's also one of the larger AHA molecules compared to something like glycolic acid, so it doesn't penetrate too deeply into the skin. It works mostly at the surface, and I chose it because that means it has less chances of irritating those with sensitive skin. But again, if you choose the Ordinary's Granactive, 2% uh, emulsion. I highly recommend you check out my Art of Retinol skincare routine. It details how to use retinoids, where they come from, what they even mean. And if you don't want to watch it, the short story here is if you're going to incorporate something like this, you have to do it slowly with patience and care. As a basic reminder, the furthest you are from tretinoin, which is the pure retinoic acid form, the less potent the retinoid is, which means the less results you will see. Basically, the further you are from the retinoic acid format, the weaker the product is. Ordinary's Granactive Retinoid 2% Emulsion is made with a retinoid alternative called HPR. It's one of the newest on the market. Also, interesting fact, the Sunday Riley Luna Oil actually uses HPR. So the main goal of using a retinoid alternative is usually maximum benefits with minimum irritation because tretinoin or retinoic acid is very irritating. Normally, these retinols or retinoid-like uh, alternative need to be converted into retinoic acid before your skin can actually read it. But the cool thing about HPR is that apparently it binds directly to your retinoic acid receptors. It doesn't need to be converted. So it works exactly like tretinoin. The only thing is take this with a grain of salt because most of this data is coming from the manufacturer. So there is going to be a little bit of bias and I don't think I've seen um, outside studies actually occur just yet. All three serums that I chose are water-based. You can choose to apply them before or after your face cream. Uh, most people like to put their serums on right after cleansing or toning because they feel it's closest to the skin. But in my opinion, it's not going to make a difference if everything's water-based. It's all going to get to your skin no matter what. And of course, the last step of everybody's skincare routine is usually your face cream. All you really need to look for is a fragrant-free formula that functions as an emulsion, an occlusion, and a humectant. Basically, something that will retain the moisture in your skin. That's the only purpose of a face cream. For this, I picked The Ordinary's Natural Moisturizing Factor plus HA Face Cream. This is actually, I'm sending you the 100 ml format, which is one of the largest ones. This is a great cream that does one thing and that's retained surface moisture. So it's reducing that transepidermal water loss, it's maintaining the moisture levels in your skin, it's keeping you hydrated, etc., etc. Natural moisturizing factors, also known as NMF, it's basically an umbrella term for a bunch of things like fatty acids, amino acids, triglycerides, urea, ceramides, sodium PCA, and hyaluronic acid. You could easily go through the ingredient list and see all the different types of amino acids. I'm not going to go through all of them, but basically their sole goal is to keep you hydrated. So you got this far. This is the exciting part. I'm giving two people in our beauty community the chance to win all of these products. Again, when it comes to the um, treatment portion, which is either the lactic acid or the granactive retinoid, you have the choice. You can choose one or the other. 
and I'll tell you how to do that very soon. If you don't win, hopefully this video helps you build a very simple skincare routine. If you look at all these products, I think this is less than 50 bucks. I'm gonna keep the rules very simple. All I ask is that you're subscribed to my YouTube channel and to leave a comment, this is how I'm gonna pick the winner, to leave a comment, you know, discussing your current routine or which products you think you're ex most excited about. Most importantly, please make sure to say which treatment-based serum you want, whether it is the lactic acid or the granactive retinoid, because when I'm picking a winner, I'll need to be able to pick one that's taking the retinoid and one that's taking the lactic acid. So that's important. This giveaway is open internationally as a thank you to my beauty community on YouTube. You have one week from today to enter and it's one entry per person. So make sure to leave that comment because otherwise I won't be able to pick you. Again, thank you so much for following along this year. I know I came very late in the year, but I'm hoping 2020 is gonna be even more exciting for us. Good luck to everybody. I cannot wait to talk to you very soon and happy holidays.